Uh, thing I want to do for my Cumberland is look at the apron here as you can see it kind of starts off from the front here it kind of goes at an angle up to where the pockets are and if you imagine uh, where I'm seated here it's kind of at an angle like this well a lot of people don't have, like the um, the skirt because it's kind of too far forward or skirt or apron or what you want to call it it's just a little bit too far forward and it's flimsy right so you can catch something but it's kind of hard to to put on your um, your hooks or anything like that on there so I want to try something a little bit different what I came up with was uh, something that was posted on float tube forums for a while and I'm doing this blind like I'm not even even taken out my float tube yet but I wanted to give this a try so let me show you what we come up with here we go here's our um, kind of a hard top um, uh, tray if you will it's no longer an apron um, it kind of swivels back and forth, up and down. It'll go and it'll sit nice and tight, but you can easily put your fish on here or your whatever you're working on. Uh, I can attach Velcro, which I'm going to be doing a little bit later. I'll attach Velcro on here so that um, any kind of tackle box that I want to put on there, I'll just stick on there while I'm on the tube and it'll just kind of stick there. Um, and then I can put a ruler on here as well so that I can see uh, how big the fish are that I'm catching. Um, how I assembled this is it looks kind of familiar. Well, it is. It's a, actually a top of a container that I got over at Lowe's. It's a um, heavy duty top uh, for a, a container I have. It's about 27 inches across. It's put on here by Black PVC, just like everything else, or Black ABS, just like I did everything else. The length of it here, just in case if everybody's wondering if you do want to make it, it's 27 inches across. I probably would keep it at about that. Um, only stainless steel. Um, pieces here. I used stainless steel or two and a half inch long, one quarter by 20 um, bolts, and they're countersunk in along with what's called wing nuts. And the reason for it is because I can then take this piece off and I can still use the cover for the container that I have for all my other float tube accessories and, and tools and whatnot and fishing. So I don't actually um, ruin the top. Uh, um, simply goes in there by this, using the same um, the same guides. Um, you notice also that this is actually um, cut to 45 degrees. I just use my miter saw for that. It just slips in one side, and the next, the little flaps go underneath of the uh, spacing between the, where the tube is and the, the cover, and there you have it. Um, you all saw how I did it. I did 27 piece of, uh, of ABS. And um, at the time when I was cutting it, I thought, geez, you know, I was told to do 27 inches, but it seemed, man, it just seems rather short. Or, yeah, it seemed rather short. The tube was kind of flipping out of there every once in a while. It didn't take very much effort at all to kind of get the, the, um, the lid out. And I was really afraid of sitting down in this thing just kind of flopping around. Well, actuality, the guy who actually told me that was, um, was smart because when you sit down on this thing, the edges kind of come in because uh, of the pressure and it really secures this tube in there this thing in there so it's not moving at all it's solid so it works really well and I'm gonna tell you right now I absolutely love this hard shell or this hard top um, it is amazing it's a world it's like night and day it's 180 degrees different from what we were working with before with the soft you just put things on there they can uh, you know they're kind of in the water a little bit because of course I was sitting lower but now I'm sitting higher I mean I can set my food down here I can set my baiting stuff I can set anything I want just on top of here and not have to worry about it floating away like I, I'm, I'm really confident in just like being able to set up um, just even have my phone propped up on here if I wanted to with a you know a floater just in case I sit there and watch videos if I wanted to do that but of course I'm not um, but uh, it is absolutely amazing um, and uh, I, I could not recommend it more. Um, and I know I see some people using like a uh, rubber mat on here too. You can totally do that. That's that's easy to do if you're worried about things kind of slipping around. Um, what's I, I do actually think I am actually going to think about considering doing that and then just putting it underneath of the the wing nuts and just kind of have it on the bottom here. And the only reason is just to keep it clean. Um, another great thing about this thing is I can take it off at when I get home. And I can just wash it with anything I want, right? Um, but uh, if you have that rubber mat on there, it keeps it clean. I can just wash that, and I can just kick it, make it removable. So it's just like a, you know, something that can easily come off, and and I can replace if I need to, if I tear something. Um, another cool um, piece about this thing that I'll mention 
is you see these little holes on the side here now most of the time they're absolutely useless right like you're thinking like okay well what's the point of that but i can tell you when i'm rebaiting the hook and the hook is kind of swaying around what i do is i just stick the hook in one of those things like kind of just loop it in there in, in these small things here and the hook just stays right there it's awesome don't have to worry about the hook we're moving on either so that's just another really small benefit to this thing but um i just highly recommend it if you it, it just kind of floats like this back and forth but if you do want to go all the way up you can just kind of use your legs to spread it open a little bit and then you can see down there and that's just all it is and that's my feet and then bring it down again and it's it it's seated it's it's solid it's sturdy it's not going to move anywhere and i really thank the the people over at the um the float tube forums for uh showing me the pictures of theirs and i what i did was i just kind of combined um two or three of their thoughts together i'm gonna be posting a lot more videos about some of the different things i've done in my cumberland rod holders and whatnot um i think i've already got that up but uh, uh let me know what you think and again see you guys soon take care have fun fishing